So, welcome back to POV Pool. We're here at Victor Billiards, and I'm joined here with Brooke Thomason. Hello, everyone in Streamland. <laughs> in Streamland, that's right. Uh, last minute of that, huh? Yeah, I kind of threw it together with uh, Edgy heading out of town in the morning. That's right. Edgy is going back to the Philippines, isn't he? Yes, he is. And... Um, and he also, uh, he, they finished the American rotation today. He played yeah, Aaron. He's been busy. In he, the he finals. Started, he was playing at what, 12.30 this morning, this afternoon, wasn't he? Yeah, we got to hard times about noon, and uh, they played a race to 120 for the championship. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the final score was, but Edgy ended up winning that. Okay. Well, here's what's going to happen, guys. First of all, I want to welcome everybody to tonight's show. We have Vilmos Foldis, who is a Hungarian champion from uh, Budapest, and he's been winning uh, titles uh, dating back to the early 2000s when he was a junior player. He has been visited here, uh, visiting us in the United States for the last two or three months. He's ranked number one on the Mez West A Tour. And um, what else can I say? He's he won the, the Fresno event. That was his first event with the Mez West State. the Mez West State Tour. He's, and he's uh, had he's formidable uh, appearances ever since then as well. He's played in the World Pool Masters, played on the IPT. And um, we are really excited to have this. This is an action match. This is not an official anything. This is uh, an action match. These guys are wagering with each other on this beautiful diamond table um, here at Gary's Victor Billiards in Victorville, California. There's plenty of room here for anybody who wants to come and sweat. We are going to be streaming Vilmos versus Rodrigo Edgy Geronimo. And Edgy, uh, who, for those who don't know, has been in the box with the best of them, uh, has been playing, frequently playing guys like Bustamante, Efren, uh, Jeffrey Deluna, uh, you know, I think Jeffrey he's Ignacio probably played all of the Filipinos Roberto that you could Gomez. think of. Yeah. yeah. And now he's come here and sort of he has created a lot of energy, uh, and he has. He's definitely got the Filipino uh, society all hyped up for he, him. He does. He has been sort of basing himself in uh, Carson where at he's Epic. Been playing yes. At Epic Billiards, which is owned by Dante and Carnation. If you ever want to go to, it's not even, is it Epic? Yes. yes. Epic. It used to be called Manila Billiards. Yeah. It's now called Epic Billiards. And uh, uh, he's been in action quite a lot here. Dante has in, and in Rodrigo. Yeah. yeah. Dante and Rodrigo. And the, an interesting uh, point of contention is that uh, Rodrigo has played Ruben Batista yes. three times in action and beat him every time. Giving him Once, eight ball playing ten ball. Uh, the f I think the first time they played even. Okay. And that was at hard times, and then they played the set at Epic, and then they played the set at Jar Billiards, which was uh, Ruben's pick. So and they kept looking for neutral territory. <laughs> well, I think the hard times was the neutral, yeah. and then they both picked their own joints after that, and uh, okay. and Edgy did end up up the victor on both of those. Those were all races to fifteen, I think. Do we know what rules they're going to be playing by? No. Are they playing? And so uh, this, uh, we just wanted to introduce you to this match. Uh, we know this is a match going on today, and minimum bet is three thousand dollars. I, th I, uh, I do have uh, the information that the bet has already been raised to five thousand. Whether or not it goes up from there, but I am going to arbitrate uh, the negotiations, and we're going to get this match started very quickly. And I'm going to be leaving you with Brooke to sort of you know, <laughs> keep you company while uh, this happens on camera and I just want to welcome you guys so this is it this I'll is probably be sitting here in silence unless you guys want to <laughs> want to ask questions or whatever there isn't a lot we've also got the um there's just a lot going on here out at, at Victor at Gary's Victor Billiard so yes actually, if you're in the area you should definitely come through yep and we're providing real-time updates for this match and also for another match that's going on today Santos versus John Schmidt we're going to be providing real-time updates on my website there's already a page I've established okay we're going to do the best we can to get you all the information possible on stuff that we can't cover so let me get out there and start see if I can He's rustle try these guys together because they're both ready I don't know if Dante's here yet but we'll we'll see if we can Jimmy's Jimmy's going to handle it okay okay 
So while Daniel finds out exactly what's going to happen with this 10 ball matchup, I know that on the with the one pocket, it's going to be a single race to 11. And um, the last time that John and Santos uh, matched up, they matched up a couple weeks back, and um, Santos won two races to six. So they're only going to do one tonight. Uh, I think I heard John saying he was traveling in the morning. I don't know that I don't think Santos is is flying to the Philippines for Manny's event come December. But if you're truly interested, I'm sure you could let him know and he would love to go go and uh, participate in that. We don't have a start time yet. Uh, Daniel is speaking with the uh, the players and player representatives to try and come up with that. And so when we find it out, I will announce what time it is. Well, they're looking to post up now and to to flip or lag or whatever they're going to do. Both of the players have warmed up both doing their final preparations. And Vilmos is I'm not sure what they're negotiating now. <laughs> They're just getting everything nailed down. Somebody's going to need to to win two sets. No, they'll be rocking with the wood racks. They are playing even. And uh, it'll be 10 ball. They'll be racking with the regular rack. <laughs> and it's funny you say that, Chris. When I first saw him, I, d I was like, what's Joe Tucker doing in here? But then I, I he, it's just a passing glance that makes him look like that. We're good a final count on what the bet is. <laughs> is that Marianne or Ramin? What are we betting? I'm not, I'm scared. I'm scared to ask you what we'd bet.
I think the guy in blue is, I'm not sure what his last name is, but they are calling him Randy. Um, Marianne, I'll, I'll, I, I came up with Edgy. I feel like I'm supposed to support him. I will, uh, what do you want to wager? They're going to do races to 15. And it's the best of three. So if they're if it goes one one on the sets, it'll be uh, the single race to fifteen for the five thousand. <laughs> Vicky stopping by to say hello. His name is Randy. I just don't know what his last name is. Then we can bet you, Chris. Marianne and I will uh, we'll take Edgy and you take Vilmos and uh, we can have some fun. $10,000 purse going to the winner of this match. They're going to play three races to 15. And it's, I was saying it's going to be a best two out of three, right? It's the best of. So we're not talking about 2,500 a set here. We're talking about best of three. So Somebody has to win the two sets to get the 5,000. To get the additional. If it goes five. one and one, then it'll be everything on the last set. set. Yeah. This could be a this could be a four and a half hour night. It could be a six and a half hour night. It's, we don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to judge. It's really hard to judge. It's really hard to judge, but uh, we just thought uh, also it'd be a nice treat for you guys to see some of the money there. Yeah. On the table. And uh, we are going to get this started very shortly. I want to thank uh, POV Pool sponsors, uh, Kamui Tips, for. Working with PO Pool now for three and a half years. It's been They've been around long. for the yeah. long haul. Exactly. And also 2014 sponsorship of OBQs. I want to thank them for their support of POV Pool. And uh, I want you guys to uh, please check out OBQs and, and take a look at their new products. They've got OB new, Plus. New, new brake cue. they got the new Plus shafts. And uh, they just really, really have a great product. In fact, it's... OB cues changed my game. I play with an OB as well. I love it. Haven't had a chance to check out the Plus yet, though. I'm looking forward to that. Also, a huge uh, thanks to Automated Entertainment. Uh, automated Entertainment provides automation systems for businesses like Gary's Victor Billiards and other establishments serv serving over 26 locations in the uh, Southern California area. Check out Automated Entertainment. Find out how you can get... ATMs, jukeboxes, automated lighting, security systems, surveillance, uh, website design and hosting, and much, much, much more through automated entertainment. Start making money with your business right away. And I also want to thank Ian Brock and Run Out Apps, the uh, inventor of the Scorekeeper 2.0. And uh, I wish them the best of luck with their with their new product. Also, our a new sponsor with POV Pool. I want to thank. Marty Carey of Marty Carey's Jump Q. Check out Marty Carey's Jump Q today, an awesome carbon fiber product uh, with a solid wood core and, um, and uh, extremely lightweight, great Jump Q. And he's also a very well-known artistic billiard champion and trick shot artist. And I want to thank Marty Carey for his support of POV Pool. Check out Marty Carey's Jump Q today. And with that, we're going to get this match started very shortly. And I hope you guys enjoy. Looks like they're still trying to figure out some side uh, action side over there. Side action. 
We'll be right back. Marty Care here. I want to tell you about this new carbon fiber jump cue that I've created. Well, I developed this jump cue because when I'm in competition, I need something that I can depend on for various shots. You try to jump with a full length cue, it doesn't have the balance that this has at 40 inches to be able to get the ball off the table. The new carbon fiber jump cue has a solid core that adds density and weight to the cue. Another important feature that I put in this new jump cue is the quick release unilock joint pin. It's an aluminum joint pin, so that it doesn't add any weight and affect the balance. Pew comes in two sizes. You have a choice of a nine millimeter shaft or a 14 millimeter shaft. And each one of them have the G10 tip. The G10 is indestructible. The unilock quick release pin is indestructible. So with the concept that I put together here, it should never break. Because of the design, you're able to use all the different bridges that are necessary for different shots. The open bridge, the closed bridge, or the air bridge. So another benefit of my new jump cue is that you can jump close-up shots and you can jump long shots. We've all been in situations where the ball is hanging in the pocket, but we're blocked by another ball. So I developed this cube for us professionals. It's been proven in competition. But as easy as it is to use, the novice intermediate player can benefit as well. So if you're looking for a jump cue that does it all, this is the one for you. Okay, folks, we're back. Hi, guys. We are back. And uh, Randy's here, Sean oh, Lane's we here. We ran them all off as soon as we said hi. <laughs> and uh, we are, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, uh, allow our sponsors to be heard and seen. And we're getting this match started very, very quickly, very soon. Once again, race to 15. Three foul rule, jump cues allowed, winner, winner break. break, no magic rack. And they'll play just regular 10 ball rules, meaning call it if it doesn't, call if it's pocket. not obvious. Mm -hmm. Vilmos, call pocket, right? Call pocket, international nine ball rules, I believe. And uh, knock them out, man. Yes, yes. Uh, so it's cue ball foul only. Yeah, okay. 
So uh, you almost came over to make sure we understood some of the rules. That was nice. I also want to let you guys uh, know about a couple of events that are upcoming. Um, are we going to talk about the charity event? Yes, we are. Actually, <laughs> why don't I do that? The love of my life. Geraldine Thibodeau has, uh, has uh, put together a wonderful charity event that's happening at uh, the Golden Q coming up December 6th. And she has coordinated with Mark Ong, who is the San APA. Gabriel Valley APA operator. And we are inviting everyone to come on out to the Golden Q on December 6th to play in a charity event It'll to be benefit the City of South El Monte's Christmas Wish toy giveaway and charity. A Jack and Jill bar table tournament. Jack and Jill, that's right. Brooke, who, who's your partner? You know what? I was supposed to be out of town that weekend, so I am available for partnership. Okay. She's taking. She's taking. Offers. Taking offers now. <laughs> Twenty dollars a team. Uh, a portion of the proceeds will go towards your meal, and towards the charity that we're discussing. That's right. Jolene said they're going to supply a, a nice spread, There's so be some it'll be real nice. There, yeah. And uh, you know, basically, ten dollars gets two of you fed. Which is a heck of a deal. Of it's hard to fee. do. Yeah, it's part of your entry fee, and. Um, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Marty Carey's going to be there. He's going to oh, do a little exhibition. some jump cues. We're going to be raffling off a jump cue. We, we have, got um, some cool things for the at raffle. Yep, yeah, thanks to Brooke. We have signed <laughs> balls from Francisco Bustamante. Uh, we have signed ball by Florian Kohler and a few other gifts from Florian. We have nice. uh, T-shirts. We're going to be giving away a lot of things. And we actually have a few other uh, surprise items that are going to be uh, added towards the end. So please come down to the charity event at the Golden Q. Also, the Mez West Day Tour is still in full force. Going strong. That's right. Please join us uh, in San Francisco for the Mez West Day Tour. Oscar and Desiree. And what are the dates for that one? Great tour. I believe uh, December 13, 14. That sounds right. I know they've got uh, a couple weeks after that. There's the event in Sacramento that. Exactly, family billiards, December 13 and 14. That'll be a nine ball event. That will be nine ball, exactly. So. If you haven't quite made that top 32 yet, make sure you come out and play and try and earn your place for the top shooter for that men's tournament. Yeah, that's right. Actually, quick announcement. A lot of people are expecting the top 16 to be uh, eligible for the for the, for the the Top Gun event in March 2015, but it's actually the top 32. They, they opened it. it. They opened it up. So there's still time to establish a ranking and uh, get added to the roster. So with that, we're, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come right back and start this match. Vilmos Foldis versus Rodrigo Geronimo. Who do you like? Um, I'm going to pick Edgy. That's my kind of my horse. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you've been known but to, it's <laughs> you know, favor the Filipinos. I have a little bit of that. But um, it actually, I think it's going to be a really tough match. And I think whoever brings their most consistent A game is going to be the one that takes home the money tonight. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that the way with every match? Really? Not always, but oh, it should right. be. Sometimes people win It should be, but not yeah. always. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 